you, Madam Chairman. Dr. Kanuski, thank you for being here this morning. I represent Florida's 26th district. It's the southernmost district in the United States. It includes Miami-Dade County and all of the Florida Keys. And as you know, we parts of my district got destroyed after Hurricane Irma. It's gonna be almost two years, but our community is strong, resilient. We helped each other out and we got back up and running very quickly, but we're not fully recovered. And it's been almost two years and it's in large part due to the lack of FEMA funding. Um, let me show you Florida Keys. After the storm, Keys Energy was supposed to receive 42 million from FEMA. As of today, FEMA has only provided 15 2.2 million has been paid out to Keys Energy. 2.2 from the 42 million that was approved. Um, as a result of this slow payout, the Keys Energy had to take out a line of credit of 50 million to pay for the recovery costs. You can imagine people need to, to recover from this storm. Keys Energy has already paid over 1 million in interest for this loan, 1 million. Not only is this timeline incredibly frustrating and unnecessarily expensive, but it is also very dangerous. We're approaching hurricane season very rapidly in South Florida. Um, they don't have any liquidity, and if they get hit by another storm in the coming months, they will have great difficulty paying for any recovery. This is just completely unacceptable. Another example, the Florida Keys Electric Cooperative, a small utility at the top of the Keys, also suffered significant damage to their community by Irma, and their total FEMA bill is 19 million. To date, not one single dollar has been released from FEMA and reached the utility, not one. This is unacceptable. I also represent, as I mentioned, a large port of Miami-Dade County. The county as a whole has submitted reimbursement requests to FEMA to the tune of $299 million. However, to date, FEMA has only provided 1.5 million out of the 299 million. Uh, and only 782,000 has actually reached Miami-Dade County, which means that FEMA is sitting on roughly 297 million of the 299 million that the county needs. So I, I would like to ask, can you please explain to us what is taking two years. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, well, let me say, first of all, I, I can't speak to those two particular cases, but I will get you an answer on those two cases. I would like to provide a little broader perspective, specifically for Florida, just to make sure that you know that we are committed to supporting the full and complete recovery from Hurricane Irma. Take a step back. FEMA is responsible for providing immediate assistance to individuals. We want to make sure those disaster survivors are cared for immediately after a disaster. And in Florida, those disaster survivors impacted by Hurricane Irma. We also provided $370 million in uh, national flood insurance program claims to claim holders in Florida. As far as public assistance, which is what you're referencing, our primary focus following a disaster is on emergency work is to take those actions that will save lives and protect property in the immediate aftermath of a hurricane, for example. Over the long term is when we focus on in investing in infrastructure, making sure that that infrastructure, such as some of the infrastructure you mentioned, can be built back, repaired, or replaced if necessary. Already, FEMA has provided $71.5 million in public assistance for projects such as the ones you mentioned. And again, okay. I'll have to follow and, and up I'm to sorry, find out. Mr. Kanoski. about 15 million, so those numbers don't add up at all. And I can tell you that people haven't received that relief funding. Uh, we've actually lost thousands of families in Monroe County that have had to leave the area because they didn't get the, the reimbursements that they had uh, requested. So I implore you to please go back to your agency and see what you can do to speed things along. And I would love for you to make a commitment today that you will get back in touch with my office within a week with the information that I need for specifically as it relates
you know, it seems like there are a lot of inefficiencies, and I, have, I happen to agree with my colleague, Mr. Meadows, in sharing that frustration. What can Congress do to make sure that we speed up this process, that when we pass uh, disaster relief funds here in Congress, that those funds get allocated specifically to those areas that have been affected by natural disasters? Again, we do get individual assistance out the door quickly. Those, that's the money to help the individual disaster survivors. For public assistance, for any of these large infrastructure projects, we have, two, we have two sometimes competing goals. One is to make sure that we can rebuild and recover that community as fast as possible. But the other goal that FEMA has is to make sure we safeguard the American taxpayers' dollars. We have to provide, consistent with the law, appropriate oversight and make sure that these dollars are being spent in the way they should be, consistent with appropriate law and regulation. Mr. Kanuski, it's been you. Your time uh, two bad. years. Maybe we need to add to the FEMA payroll, more, more people to provide oversight, but we need to speed things up. Thank you very much.